Hello everyone, here's my audience. Although getting a shot is not a pleasant experience, imagine not getting that vaccination and ending up with measles, mumps, or rubella. To gain knowledge on this subject, I have taken graduate level immunology courses, as well as studied immunizations and why they're so important. Today, I hope to motivate you to vaccinate your children and challenge you to educate others on why it's so important by explaining what vaccinations are, why they are so important, and how they help to eradicate diseases. With your help, we can protect future generations and herd immunity. So why do we need to vaccinate ourselves and our children? Reemergence of various diseases is one huge reason why. According to Dr. St. Maurice, despite the international success of vaccinations, the United States has experienced a reemergence of measles almost solely due to parental refusal to vaccinate their children. In the left-hand corner is a diagram just showing how well the measles vaccination works, almost completely eradicating it. So if you were a person you know is considering not getting vaccinated, I want you to think about a time when you were really ill. And imagine if there was a vaccine that could have prevented that illness. Would you have gotten it? It is also very well known that vaccines prevent unnecessary deaths. The World Health Organization estimates that vaccines avert around two to three million deaths per year. That means that roughly the population of Colorado is saved from a vaccine preventable death each year. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the population of Colorado at 5.6 million. And although 5.6 million is more than 3 million, imagine that a little bit more than the population of Denver is saved each year from death. Measles is an example of a disease that was eradicated in the United States, but has begun to make a reemergence due to lack of vaccinations. Measles is a major childhood killer. And according to Dr. Weinberg, death from measles declined by 79% worldwide and by 85% in Sub-Saharan Africa between the years of 2000 and 2015, solely because of the measles immunization. So now that you know the importance of vaccinations, it's important how you can challenge individuals who are against them. First, it's ne necessary to educate others on the topic. Explain that when they choose to not vaccinate themselves, that they are not only affecting themselves and their family, but rather they are affecting the entire community. This idea is called herd immunity, and you can see that in the upper left-hand corner. The people in red are contagious, and the people in blue are susceptible, and the people in yellow are immunized. Because the majority of that population has been immunized, the people that are susceptible are not getting the disease from the contagious people, which is why herd immunity uh, needs to be saved and why vaccinations are so important. There's also ample scientific knowledge that vaccines prevent diseases. On the bottom left-hand corner are just a few examples, polio, measles, mumps, and rubella. One common misconception is that vaccines are dangerous, but giving the person knowledge that they are not is very important. According to UNICEF, the risk of a child having a severe case of a vaccine preventable disease is one in 600, compared to a child having an adverse reaction to an immunization is closer to one in 100,000, showing that vaccines are really safe. It is also important to note that vaccines do not put people in the hospital, but rather they keep them out of it. The CDC estimates that vaccines alone will prevent 21 million hospitalizations for children that were born in the last 20 years, further proving, the nece further proving that vaccines are necessary. So now that you are aware on how to educate the community on vaccinations, imagine how you can spread this important message. Imagine speaking to a parent that wasn't going to vaccinate their child and changing their mind. 
Imagine how amazing you would feel knowing that you could have just saved that child's life. So take a moment and think. Think about saving that child's life and practice what you would say to the parent risking it. Now that you have the knowledge on why it is so necessary to vaccinate, it is now time to share it. A lack of knowledge can lead people to a terrible mistake of not getting vaccinated. So do your part and remember that it's our job, of, job as a community to make sure that everyone gets vaccinated. Educate others on what immunizations are and why they are so important. Encourage others that when they are getting vaccinated, they're not just protecting themselves, but rather the entire community. And most importantly, imagine saving a child's life. In 2008, there were five confirmed cases of hemophilus type B in Minnesota. With vaccinations, HIV is preventable. Of the five, three were not vaccinated, and of those three, one child ended up dying. Vaccinations prevent unnecessary deaths like this one. So do your part and speak up against those who do not want to vaccinate. You might just be saving a life. Thank you. Here's my audience.